everybody, it's me, Ashitos Nicolitos, and today I'm here to talk to y'all about post-bac programs. I'm telling y'all why I chose a post-bac program, why you may want to choose a post-bac program, if this is the right one for you, what types of programs we got, and if I really thought it was worth it. So stay tuned for the tea, because I'm dropping all the tea in this conversation, and I hope that you stay tuned. So let's get started. So if you don't already know, I graduated from Emory in 2018 with a degree in Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies. But by the time that I was graduating in 2018, I was pretty sure that I wanted to go down the medical school path towards becoming a physician. And this was pretty much motivated by my coursework because I focused my uh, capstone project on reproductive justice in communities of color and also I most of my courses were focused on social determinants of health That's for another video who really cares But anyways, I decided that I needed to do a post back program because I still needed to take the core requirements that you need to apply to medical school What are those core requirements if you don't already know that is biology chemistry organic chemistry physics? usually a math course and some humanities and English mixed in there but of course I needed to take those sciences. They have master's programs, they've got post -bac programs for career changers like me, they've got post -bac programs for that are academic enhancers that you didn't do too well in your undergraduate science courses, they've got post -bac programs for a bunch of different scenarios. So just knowing which one actually applies to you is important before you decide that you actually want to do one, right? Or actually no, you can decide you want to do one, but then you got to figure out which one is the best for you. That's what I wanted to say. So yeah, once you figure out which one is best for you, you got to figure out where you want to apply and what programs are out there for you. So since I was coming from Emory University in 2018 and I was there on a scholarship, I no longer had money around to help me survive in terms of housing, food, meal plan, things like that. Free events on campus where I would take that food. No, I didn't have any of that anymore because once you graduate from college, all of that goes poof. So, by the time I was ready to start my post back, I knew that I was going to be basically on my own financially. Well, kind of in a way. Uh, that's, and that was what was super important in me choosing a post back program. So I knew by the time that I was starting my post back program that I would need to go back to New York, to my family, to, my big, to one of my biggest support networks basically, and apply to programs in that area so that I would have a place, a roof over my head, and food in my belly when I needed to go through my studies and not have to worry about that. Um, yeah, there was a lot of sacrifices because as a post back student, especially, this might not be the case for master's programs, but you are no longer a degree seeking student. And this means that you no longer qualify for a lot of financial aid that was given to you in an undergrad program and is often given to you in a grad school program. So that's why as a non-degree seeking student, it was important for me to apply to schools that were within the area of my family so that I could not have to worry about paying for these classes out of pocket and also through loans like private loans, but also having to struggle with rent and food costs and things like that. So I eventually ended up choosing Fordham University and their post back program. I was able to live with my aunt on certain days of the week, live with my sister on other days of the week. Um, pull up at my brother's spot whenever he was serving a good steak, you know, things like that. So I ended up settling on that program because it was close to my support networks and it was also really flexible in terms of the courses that they offered for their post-bac students. First off, they let their post-bac students register for their classes first and that was a major point that I wanted in my post-bac. And they were also really good in terms of offering flexible times for me to take my courses. I was able to take courses at night time, around like 6 to 9 p.m. A lot of times my courses were at that time, which allowed me to work if I had to earlier in the day or take part in research, volunteer experiences, um, internships, things like that throughout the daytime. I ended up enrolling in my first course there the summer after I graduated, or actually the fall after I graduated from Emory. So this was the fall of 2018. And I ended up taking classes, my core classes, up until the spring of 2020. So my last course was in May 2020. 
And throughout this time, I had an amazing advisor who was always one step ahead of me in terms of making sure I was ready for the application process. She was getting together my letters of recommendation into a committee health packet. I mean, she was amazing. So when you're looking for a post back program, you really want to make sure that you're looking for one where you have flexibility in terms of when you can take your courses and the course offerings, flexibility in terms of when you can register for courses and making sure that you're not getting last dibs because you don't want to turn a two-year post back program into a five-year post back program because you can't get into your classes. I mean, if that's your goal, that's fine, but like that wasn't my goal. And lastly, you want to make sure that your advising is on point because there's nothing worse than having everything ready when it's time to apply to medical schools, but then your advisor's holding you back. So talk to the students that are at the program you're interested. Ask them how the vibe is. Ask them how registering for classes goes. Ask them how receptive the administration is to your needs because these are things that make a really big difference when you actually go enroll in a program. And this is important for post back programs, but Really any school you go to, you want to be checking out these things. But these are things that I was especially looking for in a post -bac program. I looked, I made a list of the schools that I was accepted to for post -bac programs, but I also made a list of things that I was looking for. Advising, scheduling, price, and location. And you can make up your own list, to find out what priorities are most important for you, but I wanted to really lay a foundation that was going to be strong enough so that when I went to go apply for my medical schools, I was comfortable with what I was doing for the last two years and getting those classes done in efficiently and effectively. Because, you know, we ain't got no time to play. This was most definitely the move for me, right? When I first started college at Emory, I was a little bit lost in terms of direction. But as soon as I got into this post -bac program, I knew exactly where I was going. I knew exactly what I had to do. And this was the step that I really needed to take. It makes me sad when I see these loans that I got now because of this post back program because I didn't have loans coming out of college. But all of a sudden now I got Sally May, you know, me and her are pretty close. I've got loans now. But other than that, I regret absolutely nothing about this experience. And I think that this post back program has really given me a lot of confidence. It's really allowed me to take care of these courses in a very effective and efficient way. I've developed so many cool connections with my advisor, with friends that I've made in this program who are also like-minded. And I just overall feel so much better about my application. So do I suggest a post back program? I suggest that you definitely think about your finances first and that you definitely, like, if you could and if it comes to you in undergrad, take those classes in undergrad. But if not, don't fret because post back programs are a great option for people who are career changers, who need that academic enhancement and that individualized focused time on pre-med studies. So I definitely suggest it for them. I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if you haven't subscribed already, you can subscribe down below and I would love you forever. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. I hope it was helpful. Drop a comment down below. I love chatting with y'all, even though y'all don't love chatting with me. That's okay. I don't take it personal, but I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.